Hey everyone, sorry you haven't heard from me in a while, but been really busy, a lot of stuff has come up. But um, here it is, finally part 4, as requested. Unfortunately, I lost the game file that I was working on while I was making the series. Um, because I got a new computer, and I kind of lost a couple files, and that happened to be one of them, unfortunately. But um, we're actually really close to being done with explaining everything so here's the inventory system which I believe I showed you partly in the last video you set all of your possible items that you can have in your inventory you set a variable for each and then you set them each to false just like I have here like I have lunch tray note knife whatever okay now once you have all those you want to make a section like this if input equals inventory so when you type in inventory, it want, you need to make it go through all of the things that you have. So it's going to see, oh, if you have paperclip picked up, if it's equal to true, which I showed you how to do last time, if you say take paperclip or whatever and you set it to true after you say that, um, it's going to set a separate variable called pclip to paperclip and then a break tag here. Otherwise, it's going to set it to nothing. Now you do that for each one of these. So, if dead bugs equals true, debugs equals dead bugs break. You need to make it a string. Make sure you make it a string. Now, once you've gone through all of those, like I have here, you want to check there's going to be certain items in the game that the player cannot advance without. So, you can, like, make it easier on yourself and say, oh, if he doesn't have that essential item, you can just say, there is nothing in your inventory which is what I have here. And then it follows the same format as before. You do, there's nothing in your inventory, and then you insert it before the placeholder and you fade it in. All right? And otherwise, you go say, okay, inventory, and then you add all the strings together. So like, powder, powd, is this smaller variable, strange powder. If I have that, it'll get put in right here. Now since every other thing, these all won't show up because we remember we set it, if it's false, we set it to blank. So if you don't have the dead bugs, they won't show up. But if you do, it will, in that order. So all these things will show up. Insert it before placeholder fade in. And then of course you have your else statement here. I don't understand, blah, blah, blah. And that's basically all you have to do. Um, the only thing I don't understand still is why this wasn't working, this command line, and set it to blank. I still don't understand why that wasn't working because I I can't look at the code, I don't have the file anymore, but this is my original game that I made and it's the exact same format and it works. But um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, and so you just keep adding onto the game using those techniques, you know. Um, it looks like really complicated, but it's basically just the same thing over and over and over again. It's kind of tedious to put together an entire game, um, even a small game, but um, it's cool. It's a cool result once you get, um, once you finish it. Now, here is my final game. And um, what I did was I just, I made a CSS file. And I made this whole thing like a center box, basically. And I changed the look of this input box so you can take whatever. Um, I made this image in Photoshop, and I just used CSS as well to align it over here. And I like to put this compass thing in just to give the user a kind of idea in their head of where they're going. Because it can be really hard with text-based games to know which direction is which. Um, especially when you're in like, the west corridor and you need to go north or something, whatever. But um, here's my final game, and I just prettified it with CSS, like I said. And um, yeah, I can just say, take paperclip. Oh look, I picked up a paperclip. Now let me show you how the inventory works. If I type in inventory, look at that, it shows me. Now I remember, I still had all those variables there, but they were all set to nothing. So essentially, it's just inserting a bunch of nothings there, as well as the paperclip. All right. 
Well, I believe that's it, and that concludes the series. Um, I know this wasn't very good, but I'm sorry I don't really have the um, the file anymore, the original file. So, but I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can feel free to leave comments and messages like like you have been doing, and I'll do my best to reply and respond. Um, but until next time, see you later.